Welcome to the Von Cash Show. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Today, I got Vicky on the show. How are you today? I'm good. Excited to be here. Awesome. Glad you're here, too. So Vicky is a massage therapist, has her own practice, not needing massages. That, did I say it right? <laughs> yeah. That's a really cool name. No, <laughs> I was trying to think of something unique. <laughs> that, yeah. Like, it's it's just something like catchy. You just want to be like impressionable to people. Agreed. Because it's like not, it's like, it's too, you can be seen as too, like not needy, like the knots in your back or like yeah. not no. And needy is like needy with a dough, you know, like you're doing bakery stuff uh, or yeah. needy, like uh, you want I something. Was, so I, it has double meaning. Yeah. It was, it was like, uh, cause at that time I was working at the Greek still and you know, they have like a, a younger crowd. So I was thinking of like catchy names that would be like, you know, like not needy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You got bars. Are you a rapper? You got yeah, some bars right now. Uh, so yeah. we're talking about that. So I'm a fan of massages. I got a Thai massage a couple weeks ago Okay. and I don't stretch. So like it was painful cause you're like, you don't stretch. You know, you have a bunch of knots. And I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to interview a massage therapist to get their perspective on things and how things are. And I ran into your page and here we are. So we'll be talking about massages, different types you do, the benefits and whatnot. Yeah, um, th there's benefits in all types of massage. Um, with Thai massage specifically, it's very... Um, it's just like a hyper extension of your limbs and your joints. So it like really, you know, when you, you pull yourself to like your limits and at least now you'll know like, oh, that's your limit. And so you, you're able to grow from there. So with time is just, that's kind of like where that happens. Yeah. Um, um, so what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's cool. Um, how did you decide to become a massage therapist? How'd you get into it? Um, I was so lost in uh, my 20s. And uh, when I turned 21, I switched over from auto mechanic to kinesiology. And then I really liked the holistic healing type of uh, work that's done. So I applied to Northwest College. In 2012, I graduated. Um, I interned at a chiropractic office. And from there, I was just like, it was different. I really liked that I started off at a medical office versus um, a spa. Because I feel like in a spa setting, I would have been more geared towards um, earn more money, get more clients. Like it, it would have been geared toward the business versus um, in chiropractic work, it's you're only getting hourly pay. So, <laughs> so you're more geared towards like, okay, well, now I, I get I'm focusing on each client and they each have like their own plan that they have to follow. And it's just like, it's really cool. Yo, so auto mechanic to kinesiology, that's a pretty cool transition. Um, <laughs> okay, so my homegirl used to work at a spa and she taught me how to massage. Back in the day, I was, I was out there. I was, uh, I was into like partying and drugs and like I was into E. I was rolling hella hard. You know, yeah, yeah, the mas yeah. The massage trains. Massages. Yeah, yeah, you already Perfect know. Time. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's so, so funny. Um, I remember like she taught me how to massage a little bit. Use your elbow. Yeah, use your knuckles. Elbows. Just avoid the spine, avoid bones. <laughs> yeah. So I got into them. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I can do massages here and there, but I really like the healing aspect of it it feels good sometimes it hurts um mm -hmm. so from like a how do how do massages work anatomically because i feel like there's something that you do you apply pressure to like muscles or something and something oh, happens yeah. um, so so during a massage when you apply the pressure it manipulates the soft tissues you know muscles tendons ligaments and then this, you know, manipulation can, you know, reduce tension, it reduces inflammation, and then it, allevi it alleviates pain. It's, you're just moving stuff around the body. You're just like uh, causing more circulation to kind of flow through. That's why I like massages are so um, not invasive. It's if 
if there's ever anything that's more clinically that needs to be worked on, I will redirect them to a doctor. Like that's more a doctor thing. For for holistic healing, any massages, it's just like you're just moving things around and you're just breaking up knots, breaking up any scar tissue. The next question was, what are knots? Because I know it's like, you know, when I'm massaging myself or massaging others, I feel this like bump. It's not a bone, but it's this like bump. What is that exactly? So knots are just uh, really irritated muscles. Like it's just very centered and targeted. Um, it, knots are just like, it's like accumulation of micro tears. So you have to think of your bands are like um, rubber bands. And if you don't hydrate a rubber band, you don't stretch it before you work out and you're just going about your day, you're pulling on it. So at some point, it's not all going to be like moist and stuff. So it's going to tear. And then um, you're, so once it tears, your muscles get irritated right there. And once it gets irritated, then it starts building up and then it starts getting inflamed. And then that's when you get like a pinched nerve. And then from there, like, well, the pinched nerve already happened. So then it's just like, a, like snow. It's just like a, like domino effect of everything going wrong. That makes sense. You know, I have, yeah. uh, I have anxiety issues. So I'm learning. I realized that I always tense up my shoulders. That's where a lot of my knots were. And so I think I have to learn to kind of like relax my shoulders, but I just do it in oh, instinctively. Hard. Yeah. It sucks too, because if your shoulders already have knots and they're already tense, if you don't work that out and you don't really work that out and consistently work that out, it's just going to get more and more tense. You're just building on top of that tenseness. It's not like um, when you're building a muscle, you build a muscle and it's just like you're, you know that if I consistently build, I keep building, it's going to grow. Um, with any type of pain, if you leave it, it's the same concept. It's going to grow. That pain is going to grow. It, the things are just going to grow on top of it. And so really what I do is I, I just target. I target like, what is it that you're feeling that's pain? Because that's what I learned from the chiropractic office is where is the pain? And that's where we're going to target. Because if we don't target that pain first, it doesn't matter how much I massage the rest of your body. Um, it's going to come back to that pain. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So just I more massages. Yeah, I would recommend even if you go for your next massage to let them know, hey, just work on my shoulders. And then you can always redirect them like, hey, I, I don't need that. Like, can you just work on my shoulders? Because I'll have clients even that they'll come in and I'll just be working on their shoulders for an hour or 90 minutes. And then it's just this like process of like, we're really trying to break it down and then you're healing and then go at it again. And it's just like working out, but just a different concept. Right. Okay. So, so you went from working from chiropractor office, chiropractor's office to you started your own business, not needing massage. How did that come about? And why did you want to start your own practice as opposed to like working for somebody else? Oh, um, so from there, you know, I went, um, let's see, from... From when I first started massage after like, I think I was at that chiropractic office for like five or six years. And then I went over, I tried to do corporate for like uh, the joint chiropractic. And, um, and then I got pregnant <laughs> and then I got pregnant. I had my first daughter at 2018 and then I had my second daughter a year later. And then I, um, and then on Christmas day of 2021, uh, my husband had assaulted me and it resulted in him slamming my head down on a table. And so we had to leave. So uh, after that, I s immediately just, I don't know why, I took up running. And then I uh, came back in contact with a personal trainer whose family used to babysit me. And that's the, I was personal training here at the gym where I'm at right now. And, um, a year in, I was like, let's get back in massage. Cause at that point I was working 
like when I left, I immediately I got like warehouse jobs and I was like trying to pay lawyer fees and everything. And so um, she was like, hey, they're they're trying to rent out a room or half a room uh, from the gym. And I was like, "Okay." I contacted uh, the gym owner. I signed the contract and then I was in within like a month. It was cool. Well, yeah. Thank you for sharing your story. Um, yeah. That must have been really it's difficult. Just, uh, for the- really wanting to be there for my kids too. Yeah. 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 It must be tough just how, what you went through, but I'm glad that you were able to be where you are today. Oh yeah. It was, uh, I'm currently um, talking to two therapists. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been a long journey and um it's been rough but you know it's life yeah i mean i have issues of my own i have childhood issues but more recently one i'm more open about is substance use i've been Mm -hmm. partying since 2007 2008 Mm -hmm. i just got clean uh october 2022 yeah. Pretty much like 16 months ago. Are you seeing a therapist too? Um, I used to see a therapist, but I go to meetings, 12 step okay. program meetings. Okay. Yeah. It's like really hard to be honest with a therapist about it. Cause it's like, uh, I wonder what things like they can report <laughs> like and not report. Yeah. It's, it, it's a lot harder, but yeah, at least you're seeking help. And it's always like, it's a journey. I feel like with any healing, um, like with my ex, he had a lot of, uh, a lot of like alcoholism and like drug use. And it was, it was a battle, but it's, everyone's on their own journey. Um, yeah. And that's, you know, that's how I treat everyone. Uh, I think what happened to me definitely has really shifted my mindset coming back to healing work. Um, Because I think that like a key component in wanting to be a massage therapist is you want to have to help. Like you want to have to want to help people like at, at the core, like you want to like really understand, like even as hurt as I was leaving, I also understood like he was going through his own battles, like what happened really sucked, but like all we could do is move forward. And that's like, that's just life. Yeah. Like all you can do is just look forward, move forward. Like what's wrong with me? What do, what can I do about it? What can I change? Like it's, that's it. Yeah. Well, that's really mature of you to put it that way. I'm I'm sure, again, it must have been difficult. But yeah, everybody has their own journey. And, you know, just dealing with that is just, I can't imagine. It's it's really difficult. So I'm really proud of you for doing what you do and how far you've gone. Um, The healing aspect of massages. Yeah, definitely. Like, I feel like uh, before I came into my massage and, got a time massage i was like pretty tense you know and then as i got the massage it hurt but it felt good and like i noticed like the next couple days like i wasn't so tense in my shoulder i was more relieved it was like less anxious it was interesting yeah oh yeah and uh, massage is really good for anxiety just because um it releases you know endorphins and you know all those happy hormones and it's really it's almost like a equivalent to a runner's high so it's it's really good for you. Right. So you do like two different massages, if I'm correct, the Swedish and oh, deep yeah. tissue massage, so right? It's a Swedish deep tissue. And then I also do um it's instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization, but it's just scraping. I call it scraping. So it's, we're just using a bunch of tools. Yeah. Uh but uh between Swedish and deep tissue. Uh, Swedish is like just for relaxation and softer touch. It's really light work. It's just, uh, it's just kind of like, like draining your body with deep tissue. You are targeting 
deeper layers of muscle. And it's just, it's a lot more invasive. And um, it's what I usually focus on. <laughs> yeah, because with like athletes, they usually want deep tissue. And the deep tissue is coupled with uh, the scraping tools as well. Let's get into the scraping tools. Uh, I believe, was it I... ATSM therapy on your mm-hmm. flight. That's pretty cool. Instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. <laughs> so they pretty much you have their top layers of muscle and then you have your bottom layers and then you have the connective tissue in between. And when you get injured or you know you get scar tissue, your connective tissue is like everywhere. It'll heal incorrectly. And then that's when you get those knots too. Like it'll heal incorrectly. That's the scar tissue. And so we're trying to like what massage does is we need it and then we break it up so that so that your muscles are going to connect straight. So you have more flexibility. Uh, what these tools do is it's just speeding up that process and you're just sanding down pretty much. Instead of like I use my fingers and I'm trying to like work out the knot. It's just taking that tool and it's speeding up that process. But by speeding up that process, it's uh, causing, it's going to cause some bruising. Yeah, because you're pretty much taking a tool and you're scraping your skin. It's it's uh, going to break your blood vessels a little bit too. So it's going to cause that bruising. But I do use a Arnicare base um, ointment afterwards to try to reduce that bruising. And then I do give clients biofreeze after just in case. Nice. I know like in different cultures, they it's scraping and they use like a coin or something. I always Coining, thought, yeah, yeah I, I always thought it's like if bruising shows up, it means like there's a lot of toxins in your body. Is that accurate? No, no, it's just, uh, you're just breaking blood vessels. Uh, the toxins thing, it's hard because even as much research as I read on it, I have no expertise on it. There's nothing that proves that uh, your body releases toxins. <laughs> yeah, I always was wondered that. Like, I was, I always wondered how. That was like that the happens. selling point like, too. <laughs> it's always, but like, it sounds cool. I mean, I'll go with. Yeah, it. yeah. So you know. But uh, I always wonder how what the your explanation makes more sense to me. Your blood, <laughs> yeah. blood vessels. Um, I think it looks kind of cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's more of like um, what it does is you're just breaking blood vessels when they coin. Also, it's coining um, is not as sanitary <laughs> just because it's their coins. Uh, this one, I use alcohol swabs. I'm like, I wash it often I have a system so it's like it's very clean and there's stainless steel versus like quarters <laughs> yeah yeah I get you um, the concept is the same though it's just like I think with coining it's just like you're in so much pain there's nowhere to go but be better <laughs> that's what it yeah looks like. it's I think I got one massage like that too my buddy my massage me she's like a gua sha oh yeah and definitely felt it, but it felt a lot better. Like you said, it speeds yeah, up the yeah. process. Yeah. Um, I like Guasha. Okay. Guasha is a lot like a, it, there's a more of a flow to it. It's more of like a lymphatic drainage with Guasha. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. Evidence-based, like what are some proven benefits of getting a massage? And so you're breaking up those knots so your blood can circulate better. Um. So the whole point is moving everything around. Uh, Oh, you need oxygen. Okay. So nutrients is transported through the bloodstream and oxygen is transported through the bloodstream. Massage, just like, it makes sense. It's just like, you're just, you're just moving everything. So everything just like is is transported faster (laughs) or everything heals better or you're like, you're unblocking those knots so that your body can get the nutrients that it needs at the time it needs it. Because then if you ever notice if your hip is strained or your leg is strained and then your leg like goes numb a lot faster, that means it's not getting the blood flow it needs. Uh, That means there's a blockage somewhere. And that's something like you should target. Okay. So going into massage and clients do 
to get the most out of their massage? Like, should they do something beforehand, like drink water and all that? I have, I think in the beginning I was like, yeah, you should drink water, but you should always drink water and you should stretch. You should always stretch. But I've noticed that the reason why clients come in is because they don't stretch. And I'm like, you need to stretch. And they're like, we're just lazy. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a lot of like, the only reason why they come in is because they don't stretch and they don't drink enough water and they don't do all these things that they're supposed to. And as massage therapists, we remind them, we keep reminding them, but also, you know, stretch, hydrate. <laughs> That's the way to get the most out of the massage. Um, if anything, you know, it's, that's what's so nice about massages. You could literally get them at any time um, because it's your choice. Like you can go in whenever you want, get a massage. Um, you can get it before a workout. You can get it after a workout and you can always get it catered to how you want it. So if it's too rough, just let them know um, that it's too rough because a myth is that the harder the massage, the better you're going to feel after, which is not always true because a massage can be too hard. And then you can actually get a serious injury. Interesting. I, I knew there was like a, a pain threshold when I was getting massaged. I felt like I needed that pain, but there's I, I can see how there's definitely like if it's too painful, but it was like that balance yeah. though. I feel like you know, oh, you'll know. I think you've you've just had really good experiences with like really good pain, but I've also heard and like have had people come in with like a lot, um, like more serious issues, and so I'm like, okay, yeah, definitely like voice it out. Like always voice it out. Like <laughs> if something is like in too much pain, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be like an like a intolerable amount of pain. Okay, good to know. What's your day like? Um, day to day, you know, you got client, you wake up in the morning. How, how do you schedule your day? How do you, what's your day like as a massage therapist? Um, massage therapist, you know, uh, I'm back in school now too. So it's like, uh, like during the week, it's just like kids. Um, it's like their drop off and then school and then here. And then I'm at a gym. So sometimes I'll work out <laughs> and then kids and then home <laughs> yeah it's uh interesting it's also getting more consistent it's definitely learning to like limit yourself and kind of like value your time too i feel like starting back up as in my own place it's that desperation of like i want to make time for every single client that books because of the scarcity but also i don't want to burn out and it's finding that balance all the time. Yeah, it's tough. Um, I deal with burnout as well, just in general as work and like doing this and everything. It's just, I think we were so, I, I used to be so like, oh, let's grind this and that. Like, let's do all this. But then I noticed myself getting really burnt out. So now I'm like giving myself permission to just like, okay, it's okay to rest. Maybe you should rest. Maybe I should get like you know, some more sleep kind of thing. So I, I definitely get that. It's finding that balance. Yeah. Yeah. It's rough. It's hard. Like I feel like everyone's, everyone's always trying to find that balance all the time. Like I catch myself too saying I'm too busy for this, but am I really, <laughs> it's like, am I too busy or am I not, not managing my time enough to find time for this? Or is this not that important to me <laughs> that makes sense i have a problem with saying yes a lot and i think yeah that's in the hard. past it just i don't know i say oh yeah i'll do this i'll do that when i know i don't want to do it but i feel like i should so i'm learning how to draw those just boundaries no. it's kind of tough yeah because you're the only person that has to move forward with you and if you're trying to please someone else, it's you're giving up parts of yourself that they don't even honestly care about. Like it makes no difference. <laughs> and if like they can, they can bitch about it, but also they don't have to suffer the conf consequences of like going out or like wasting your time, you know? 
And it's it's yeah. rough. Yeah, it really is. Okay, I think that's all the questions we have. Uh, where can we, sorry, where can we, where can we find you on social media? Uh, I am on Instagram at at need me underscore. <laughs> Um, and then from there, I do have a website. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. I think that's about it. And if we can go on your website, if we want to book an appointment, uh, to get a massage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I do. If you're in the, I don't know where Glendora, Glendora is like Inland Empire, I guess. I have no, idea. no, Glendora is still saying Yerba Valley, right? I think That's so. Rough. It's like in the middle. Yeah. Glendora, well, I have two events going on in Glendora at the Yoga Dance Co. And I will be giving away like we, we have raffles and then also um, raffles for free massages. And then I also have a package offer special okay. just for the events. Also, too, one last thing. Like the massage sessions, I mean, it just doesn't get fixed in one session, does it? No, no, not at all. Okay. Yeah, you have to be really consistent. You have to, I would recommend getting more massages more often, <laughs> all the time. Yeah, um, but it's just staying consistent with your stretching because there's so many factors that go into it. It's not just the massage itself. It's like the activity you're doing outside of the massage. And then also like um, kind of like, coupling which massage you're getting with you know the activities you're doing okay cool well thank you so much for your time of course have have a good rest of your day thank you it was great being on here <laughs>